Hey guys, uh, welcome back to uh, Doki Doki. I'm just going to make this quick little intro just to let you guys know that, you know, I kind of went nuts with the last few recordings because uh, the last one was an hour and five minutes. No, the one before that was an hour and five minutes and then the last one I just did today was two hours and a half. And everything seems to be going cool. So I'm going to just try and finish the game today, okay? Have you ever heard of the term Yandere? It's a personality type which means someone who's obsessed with you that they'll do absolutely anything to be with you. Usually to point to the point of craziness. They might stalk you to make sure you don't spend time with anyone else. They might even hurt you or your friends to get their way. But anyway, this game happens to have someone who can basically be described as Yandere. By now it's pretty obvious who I'm talking about. And that would be... Yuri. She really got insanely possessive of you. Once she started to open up a little, she even told me I should kill myself. I couldn't be even believe she said that. I just had to leave at that point. But thinking about it now, it was a little ironic. <laughs> anyway, a lot of people are actually into the Andre type, you know. I guess they really like the idea of someone being crazy obsessed with them. People are weird. I don't judge though. Also, I might be a little obsessed with you, but I'm far from crazy. It's kind of the opposite, actually. I turned out to be the most, the only normal girl in this game. It's not like I could ever actually kill a person. Just the thought of it makes me shiver. But come on, everyone's killed people in games before. Does that make you a psychopath? Of course not. But if you do happen to be into the Yandere type, I can try acting a little more creepy for you. <laughs> then again, there's already nowhere else for you to go, or anyone for me to get jealous over. Is this a Yandere girl's dream? I'd ask Yuri if I could. Oh yeah, oh, there's another option. Okay everyone, it's time to... I'm just kidding. I just used to really like saying that for some reason. <laughs> I couldn't help but say it again. Come to think of it, didn't Natsuki and Yuri make fun of me for it once? Well, whatever. It's not like you ever made fun of me. You're too much of a sweetheart to do that, aren't you? <laughs> Don't give me that! I'm sorry. I'm Monica, please understand. This is how the game continues. What's happening? Joseph, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Joseph. I love this background. Please hurry and help me. Help me! Did you do this to me, Joseph? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Joseph. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anybody could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Joseph, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends, I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. And I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... <laughs> I've made up my mind. Joseph, 
I know I said I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I kind of found it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends. And I love them all. I love the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. If, it re if I really love you, then... Hey guys, the Knife Flyer here. Welcome back to another new game. Now, I decided, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna pick up Doki Doki, because, you know, it's around that time where I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna visit the game of the past, but to be honest, I can't remember much of what I did last time, or like when I did play it before. So, yeah, let's just go straight into it. It kinda looks weird, I swear it was meant to be someone there. It's an ordinary school day like any other. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey Joseph! Well, there are already is one girl. Man, that voice just came on to me as if I've already voiced this character. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please! It's a good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. Hehe! <laughs> Actually, yeah, I, I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me! Um... I think I'll keep it a surprise. Ooh. Meanie. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walked across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third cl year classes and activities. I must say, this story is going really fast so far. Like, we're already at the end of the day. Like, bruh. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the f door in front of me. Hello? Huh? Joseph? What are you doing here? Well, I just... Uh, I glance around the room. Huh? You're the Joseph that Sayori is always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Joseph. We are the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visits. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the uh, assertive one. Plus, it might nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Joseph, don't tell me! You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes little. No way! No way! Ahaha! <laughs> Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognizable club. I don't know what to say! We have to celebrate! <laughs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Oh, wow! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. <laughs> Why am I- wait, what? The whiskers are drawn with icing and <laughs> little pieces- Why am I laughing? So kawaii! She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cup tray. Cupcake tray. That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. D don't just say it! If you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. J just you... Huh? W would you like to come along with me? Hmm. <clears throat> if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute! Sayori, shut up. Hey Joseph, I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything, but the truth is I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything what that she did. 
Maybe it's because I'm the president now, but I really know everything, Joseph. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever. And ever. For. Oh. Er. E. For. E. Okay. Eh? What's happening? Who? Oh, it hurts. I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Joseph. Goodbye, Literature Club. <laughs> Monica, I can just about hear you. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. <clears throat> Hi, sorry, it's I me. Sorry, I butchered your voice. Um, so, you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff and yeah. not really any good at it yet like at all but i wrote you a song and i was kind of hoping that i could show it to you because i worked really really hard on it so yeah <laughs> 